back to this twist and core yoga flow. Coming down to seated on your mat, placing your hands on your knees, closing off your eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out. Inhale and sigh the breath out. As you inhale, filling up the chest, filling up the tummy, sighing the breath out. And now we're just going to take a few rounds of breath in and out through the nose. Just getting the body grounded. Allowing yourself to switch off from the rest of the world. Take a moment to be present on the mat. In through the nose and out through the nose. Relaxing the shoulders, elbows, wrists and hips. Inhaling. And exhaling. See if you can slow that breath down completely and reminding yourself to breathe through this practice today. Place your hands together, rubbing the palms together, creating heat in the hands and then placing the palms over the face. Take a moment just to blink open the eyelids and then taking the hands away, just gazing into the palm of the hand before coming round to the top of your mat. So coming into our all fours position, we're just going to take a moment just to work through the fingertips. So just raising up through the heels of the hands, staying in the fingertips as we lift up in for one side and then into the other. Then we're going to come up into the tips of the fingers, reaching right up, keeping the arms nice and straight. So we're really working through the wrist, the fingers. And then we're going to take some gentle circles. So we're going to start to move not just through the wrists, but through the hips and the knees, inhaling and exhaling. Nice deep breaths in and out, and then switching direction all the way around in the other way. Inhaling and exhaling. Great work. Deep breath in. As you exhale, we're going to come back up into our tabletop position, rolling the back out into cat. Deep breath in as we sink the tummy down, lift the chest through the arms, opening up the heart. Exhale back out into cat, tucking that tailbone under. Inhale, mobilizing through the spine now, just finding some movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, draw that chest forward. And then exhale, roll that back out. Lovely. Inhale, draw the chest forward one last time. And then exhale, tucking the toes in behind you. And we're going to sink back, drawing the knees off the floor and then sink back into the knees, drawing the chest forward, coming into cow and then exhaling, coming back, drawing the knees off the floor and then inhaling, drawing the chest forward into cow. Exhale. And inhale, drawing that chest forward. So we're really starting to find some functional movement through the body as we sweep the bottom up to the sky, coming into our down dog. Just pedaling out the backs of those legs as they're feeling a little bit tight today. Bend into the knees, there's a modification, but otherwise straightening out the legs if you have that available in your practice. So nice deep breath in, really sinking the head between the arms, sending the shoulder blades down the back, rotating the shoulders outward. Inhaling and exhaling. Really settling down into this practice, grounding the body down. Come up into the tops of the toes, bending into the knees, looking ahead, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, coming into our low lunge. So lift the chest up and we're just going to take a couple of little circles here into the hips, inhaling and exhaling. From here, sink the back knee down, draw the right arm up high to the sky for a gentle twist before coming into our full twist. Open up the feet. So wiggling that right foot down the middle of the mat, coming into the outer blade of the foot, coming to this nice deep side stretch. Inhaling and exhale, right arm up high to the sky. Now from here, ground down into your left hand. Step the right foot on top of the left foot. And from here, you could take a staggered version, taking the right foot slightly ahead if you prefer. For those who have it, taking five pointed star, inhale, and then draw the right knee in towards you as you step forward to the top of your mat, framing the foot, looking ahead, just gently moving forwards and back before we send ourselves back into our bottom. So releasing back down, taking this nice little hamstring stretch here, inhaling 
And then as you exhale, walk the hands over to your right hand side, perhaps coming down to the floor, maybe coming onto your forearms as an option. Find what feels right for you here before walking your way back to centre, walking the hands back to the top of your mat, tucking out into the back foot. And then from here, rising up, coming into our crescent lunge. So inhale, gentle back bend here. And then revolved crescent, taking the left arm forward, right arm back before coming into reverse crescent lunge. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. Now as we exhale, we're going to slowly, taking your time, take the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, placing the right hand on top for this lovely little twisted lunge. So revolve twisted lunge here, inhale and exhale. Great work. Remember to push out into that back leg for support. Step the right foot back now, looking straight ahead in our plank position, keeping everything broad and strong, tucking the tailbone under slightly to protect the lower back. Nice deep breath in, engaging those abs. Exhaling. Inhale. Come up into the toes, come forward for Chaturanga. Hold. Keep breathing. Inhaling. Hold it here. Exhaling. And inhale to rise into Cobra. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, drive the bottom back up into Down Dog. Great work. Well done. So taking your feet back, we're going to take a few rounds of breaths here. Inhaling. And exhaling. Scooping the belly up and in, keeping those arms long and strong. Send those shoulder blades down the back. And remember, you can soften the knees if you're struggling to fully stretch out the back of those legs. Inhale, rise up into the toes, look ahead, step the left foot forward this time to the outside of the left hand, taking a deep breath in and then rising with your left arm up to the sky for that twist, inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to take our left foot to the middle of the mat, sinking into the outer blade of the right foot, stretching out into that full body stretch. Before bringing the arm back up, take the left leg to the top of the right leg now, or stagger the feet accordingly. And then, if you wish to, taking the left leg away from the right leg. So really engaging our core here, pulling those tummy muscles in, engaging through the whole body. Bend the top knee, step it forward. And then ground the hands down, coming into lizard lunge. So sinking the back knee down, we're going to walk the hands all the way back and come down into our forward fold again. So just coming as low as you feel comfortable with this before walking your hands over to your left hand side. So read the coming down to the forearms, maybe just into your hands, whatever feels right for you today. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk it back over. Walk the hands forward again, push out into the back leg. And then rise for our crescent lunge, inhaling, opening up the chest. And then from here, exhale, revolved crescent lunge. Nice deep breath in as we reverse into our crescent lunge. And as you exhale, we're going to release, coming all the way down, taking the right elbow across the left knee, coming into our twisted lunge, looking over our left leg, inhaling. Push out into that back foot, driving the heel back, giving you full support for this pose. Release, take the hands back down to the ground now. Looking ahead, we're going to step the left foot back now, coming into plank position, hold. Nice deep breath in and out. Make sure we're engaging that core again. Inhaling. And exhaling. Move the body forward as you inhale, holding that chaturanga hold, elbows pressed into the ribs. Keep it strong, keep breathing. Inhale to rise, cobra. Releasing the feet, deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to roll the body all the way back up again, coming back into down dog. Again, finally moving into that down dog. Let's really keep those arms strong, tummy scooped up and in. Take a couple more rounds of breath here. Inhale. Now as we inhale, I want you to just take your feet to the outside edges of your mat. Walk the hands back and we're going to take a little twist here. Slightly different. So you take the right hand to your left ankle and left hand to right ankle looking under your armpit. So we're finding a gentle twist here. 
If you struggle with this, just stick with one arm to the ankle and then doing the same under the side. So just drawing the body underneath the opposite arm, inhaling and exhaling. Great work. Releasing those arms. Now let's just take the hands to the same side ankles as we release down, soften into the knees. And I want you to grab hold of your toes. So you're going to take your fingertips or your hands under your toes, but with knees bent. We're going to gently release, sending the bum up to the sky, finding a little bit more length in the back of the legs. So we're going to do this a couple of times. So whatever feels right for you. And don't worry if you can't come up fully straight, that's fine. Just find what works for you here. Deep breaths in and out. And then from here, unravel the hands, unravel the feet, take the feet to centre. And then from here, we're going to take our right fingertips around the big toe. And then take your left arm behind you. Now ground into your left leg, slowly draw the right knee up towards you. Now you can either stay here with your left arm out to the side. But for those who have this, you can extend that leg out to the side. Remember to straighten out through the left quad. So really strengthening through that bottom leg before bringing the leg across into our figure of four. So everyone can come here into figure of four. Again, either standing or sitting down into our chair pose here. So hold it here. Nice deep breaths in and out. And then exhale. Now walk the hands forward, keeping that leg crossed. And from here, we're going to spin out. So we're going to spin the leg out and bring the right arm up to the sky. So keeping that leg cross and then extend it back out into that five pointed star. So nice deep breath in. As you exhale, draw the knee in, step it back up to the top of your mat, reach the right arm up high to the sky. Inhale, exhale, ground the hands down, coming into side angle now. So left arm up high to the sky. Modification, you can take your elbow to the thigh here. Exhale, bring the left hand back down to the ground, step the right foot back. Now we're going to come into our Chaturanga presses for one, two, three, don't forget to breathe, four, and finally five as we drive up for our Cobra, inhaling and exhaling, bringing ourselves back into Down Dog, nice deep breath in, walk the hands all the way back. And this time we're going to simply grab hold of the left big toe, right arm up behind us, gradually drive the body up to standing, either stay here or right arm out to the side, extending that left leg out to the side body. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. As we exhale, we take the left leg across the right knee this time, either staying here or coming down into our chair pose. So sitting that bum back nice and low, engaging those glutes, engaging those thighs, pull those tummy muscles in, and then let's walk those hands forward again. Well done, guys. So from here, we're going to take that little twist now. So twisting the body out, bring the left arm up high to the sky, and then extend that leg out, coming into five-pointed star. So hold it here for me before drawing the knee in, stepping up to the top of your mat, reaching the arm forward, and then up to the sky. Inhaling. And as I exhale, left hand grounds down, right arm up to the sky for side angle. Deep breath in. And as we exhale, ground down again, taking the left foot back, coming into our Chaturanga pushes. Two. And three. And four. Last one, this time sending the bum back, we're going to ripple the body forward. So waving the body all the way forward and rolling out into our cobra. Bring it back up through the back, drawing the bum up to the sky, release back into the heels. If you need to make any adjustments with the feet, please do. Wave the body forward, release the hips down, roll the shoulders down the back. Draw your body up through the spine, through the tail of the bum as we sink the hips back. Send your bum back and jump forward to the top of your mat now. And we're going to gracefully come down onto our bottom. So coming into our Navasana, we're going to take our little Navasana taps here with the toes. We're going to keep moving through here. And really thinking about engaging that core. So draw the tummy muscles in, shoulders back. Place the hands together for a twist. So we're twisting with the elbows touching each side, reaching over each side. So still keeping that balance, making sure we're working through our core here, keeping the back engaged, shoulders down the back. Great work. 
Take the arms out long and extend the legs into full Navasana. Hold it here. Keep breathing. You're almost there. Nice and strong. For three, two, and now slowly lower all the way down if you can with control and release those arms behind you. Let's take a full body stretch here. Interlace the hands, press them away from you, keeping the toes flexed, pressing through the heels. Exhale, release, take the arms down and around and grab hold of your ankles coming into our upside down Baddha Konasana. And we're gonna extend the right leg out to the side and then the left. So little half happy babies, right? And you can extend the leg fully if this feels comfortable, but otherwise stay in that half happy baby, whatever feels right for you today. Exhale. And then inhale, let's take it into full happy baby. And again, if you have that as an option, you can extend those legs fully out to the side. Make sure whichever version you are doing, you're keeping the bottom on the ground. Okay, so keeping that lower back to the ground, extending those legs out if you have that as an option. Inhale. Now as you exhale, draw the feet back together. Slowly release the feet down to the ground, coming into Subta Baddha Konasana, adjusting the tailbone accordingly, bringing the arms down by your side. Or if it feels good for you, you could also take your arms into a cactus position, whichever feels right for you today. Nice deep breath in. And sigh that breath out, just releasing any remaining tension in the body. Inhaling and exhaling. If this is uncomfortable for you in any way at all, just extend the legs out in front as you would into Shavasana. Nice deep breaths in and out. Imagine with each breath that we take, that as we exhale, you release any tension in those areas of tightness. Relax your forehead, relax your face, relax your cheeks, relax your jaw. Soften the arms back down by your side, taking hold of the thighs, drawing them into the chest. And just give yourself a little hug here. Release the back down and then give yourself another little hug. So we're just releasing the spine a little bit here. If you've got any tightness in this area for you, just giving a little massage, bringing it back in again. And now this time, exhale, we're going to roll over to the right hand side, keeping the knees drawn in. Take a moment to breathe, a moment to relax. And as you exhale, we're going to ground down in the left arm, coming up into a seated position now, with our legs crossed and our hands to our knees. Just take a moment to release the body completely, inhaling and exhaling. Take your hands to heart centre, bow your head to your hands, and thank yourself for today's practice, reminding yourself of all that you have achieved today in this practice, finding strength, finding flexibility, finding stillness of your mind. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this flow. Please do like, comment below and do subscribe for future videos. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a wonderful day.